Hello friends, welcome to session 7 of Oracle OHS Server Administration. In this session, we will learn uh, about the different log files of OHS and how to enable the debug and what are the different log levels. Okay, so enabling a debug is a very important feature that is required in many situations when we get any kind of a problems with the OHS when the, your OHS instance is not up and running, not coming up or maybe generating certain kind of errors where you are not sure what exactly going behind the uh, process. Okay. And for that, it is very important for you to enable the debug in many situations. So everything we are going to learn in this video, what are the different parameters uh, and what are the different configuration files where we do the configuration for enabling the debug and what are the different OHS log files. Okay, so we start the OHS with the help of node manager. So few different log files are generated and they all give the different kind of informations, which is very useful. Right. So let me before going ahead for uh, the execution, let me show you the different options for enabling the debug and what are the different configuration files we have okay so first let me explain you the about the different configuration files that we have in uh, not about different configurations it is different log files okay now my apology so the different log files are the first one is the uh, node manager log file okay because we start the uh, ohs instance with the help of node manager so there is a log file associated with each node manager right so the location of the node manager log file is inside the domain you will see a folder with the node manager and inside that you will see a file with the name of node manager dot log okay so let me show you at that so i am inside my standalone domain in here you will see a folder with the node manager okay this is called the node manager home as well okay and here you will have a file with the name of node manager dot log so this is the log file for your node manager okay second is the node manager specific ohs log files so as i said when we start the uh, ohs instance it use the node manager right so apart from the default log file of node manager which you can use for troubleshooting of the node manager if it is not coming up okay apart from that if your node manager is going to use the uh, uh, is going to start the OHS, then it also create a separate OHS file, which is called the node manager specific OHS log file. And the location for that is you have to go inside the domain folder. Inside domain folder, you will have a system components folder. Okay. And inside comp system components, you will have a folder with name OHS. And there you will have a uh, log file. Okay with the name ohs underscore nm dot log so this is ohs underscore node manager dot log okay and when we do the startup of our uh, ohs instance then it will give you a lot of information specifically because your node manager start the ohs instance right apart from that one there are a lot of other uh, few other log files are also there which is specific to your ohs instance suppose that your node manager is started properly and then your ohs is started properly after that we have a certain kind of a transactions or certain kind of a requests are getting processed from the ohs if you would like to troubleshoot for that particular things for that one you will have a different set of log files and which will be inside your servers folder inside the domain okay and inside that you will have a folder with the name of your instance okay and here you will have a folder with name of logs so this is a location for your ohs instance log file and here you will have a different log files okay and the two important for, uh, for, uh, files are here access log and your ohs one dot log so this will contain the uh, native logs of your OHS and apart from that you can check the request which is coming to your OHS with the help of access underscore log file right and apart from that one you will have the error log file as well in case of a, any error is there okay then one more file will get created for you okay with the name of error log separately okay so these are the different log files and the locations in the OHS right and there is a different purpose of each and every file okay and now when we talk about the enabling the debug how to enable the debug for that one there are three set of files that you need to modify the first one is the node manager dot properties file that you need to modify to enable the debugging for your node manager right for that you have to set the log level equal to the finest okay and finest is one of the lowest value in the debugging okay 
and similarly apart from updating the node manager properties file which is inside your node manager home okay you have to update one more file which is called ohs underscore nm dot properties and the location is inside the domain config fmw config components ohs and then the name of your property file okay this is the property file used by the node manager when starting the ohs okay and third is the ohs specific configuration file which is httpd.conf and here also you have to change the trace value to 32 for the ora log severity okay and if you are using the some older version of ohs like 121200 or 12130 for that one you will you will see a bit difference in in this particular text so here ora log mode is o, odl and hyphen text and in this particular versions you may see odl hyphen xml so here you have to change this trace to 32 and if you are on later versions after this one then you have to change the value here for the trace to 32 okay so that means to enable the debugging we have to modify the uh, trace value or the log level at three levels the first one is at the node manager level right second is also at the node manager level which will be going to use when your node manager try to start your ohs instance and third level is the ohs native configuration file so these are the three files and these are the values that you need to be changed in the configuration file to enable the debug and once it is done you have to restart your node manager and ohs and the debug will be get enabled right so uh, let me go to the location okay and first let me see if my services are running or not so let me check the node manager okay so node manager is running and let me try to check for the ohs as well okay okay so ohs is also running so now what i will do so first i will um, change the property in my node manager log file okay let me go to inside that this is my domain location and inside the domain you will have a folder node manager which is the node manager home so inside that we have a file node manager dot properties so here if i go to the log level okay the default log level is info right so let me delete this one okay and what is the value that we need to specify here is the finest right so let me give it here finest and let me save and exit so we have done the changes at the node manager uh, file as well right so what i will do now i will go to the uh, config and then our fmw config and then component ohs okay and here we will have the ohs underscore nm dot properties so here you can see the log label is info right so here i will change to finest right so we have done the changes at two locations right and third one is your httpd.con file so now as we have discussed in the previous sessions that uh, when we uh, go for the configuration changes okay uh, for the standalone and then even for the co-located then we have seen the complete action plan for the configuration changes in the when we go for the manual configuration changes or when we do from the em console in the co-located domain so right now i am in the standalone domain so what i will do is first i will uh, go to the staging location so this is my staging location of the ohs configuration files so here i will uh, go to httpd.con file right so here what we need to do is we have to change the severity of the trace to 32 so here let me search for the aura log severity okay so aura log severity here is warning right so let me correct one thing in this particular document okay which is a part of this lab so this value okay this need to be changed from warning to trace okay so earlier i said that this 32 need to be changed so disregard with that one we have to change this warning to trace okay so let me go here and let me do it trace okay and this is the staging location there we where we have done the changes so similarly uh, let me do it in the run time as well or if even it is not required because if you are in the standalone mode and then you are going to do the changes in the standalone uh, uh, stage directory okay then it will get reflected in the instance directory once you will restart your 
OHS instance. Okay. So, what we have done is we have changed this uh, label in three different locations, right? In the node manager dot properties, in the OHS NM dot properties, and then in the native file of your OHS. So, these are the three files that you need to update for the configuration log label to finest. Okay. And in the http.conf, this warning need to be replaced with a trace. Okay, and there is a bit difference if you are going with these particular versions. And these are the different log labels that you can use for the debugging purpose. Okay, so now after restarting, once you need any kind of a debugging, like where your uh, OHS is not up and running, at that time you get a lot of confusion that where the exact log logs are getting generated because logs will give you a different uh, messages that uh, there is some problem and you have to go and check for the OHS node manager logs or maybe the node manager logs. So, in that case, make sure that you are going to check the logs in three different locations the first one is the node manager log the second is very important when you are using the ohs uh, starting the ohs using the node manager which is the ohs underscore nm dot log and then you have a specifically to the ohs logs once it will pass to this particular locations then you have to go and check these log files for the errors okay if you will get any problem at this level then you will not able to see this files are getting generated Okay, so these are different stages of the log files and how it works. Okay, so now we are good to for the next session and thank you.